Uh, good afternoon, uh, Commander Barb Archer from the Denver Police uh, Major Crimes Division will uh, give an update on the officer-involved shooting that occurred last night in the 2200 block of South Claremont Street. Commander. Okay, so good afternoon. So like uh, Doug said, I'll give you an update on the incident from the 2200 block of South Claremont that occurred last night. Through our investigation, we've established these series of events of events that led up to this officer-involved shooting. It started around 10.30 p.m. Uh, when a male called Denver 911 from an address in Lakewood. He called and said that one of his brothers was harassing their 86-year-old father at the house on South Claremont Street. And this information was being provided to him by another brother who was in the house on Claremont. The first officer got to the house around 10.33 p.m. and was immediately met outside by the other brother. That male came out and said that his other brother was inside the house and was threatening their dad with a knife and with a gun. So this forced the officer's response. Well, he did not have the opportunity to wait for cover officers. He had to immediately address the situation. So the front door of the house was open, and the officer could hear a male yelling from inside. He looked inside the door and saw the suspect standing with a knife and a gun in his hands next to the elderly father who was lying on a bed in the room. The officer immediately began ordering the male to put the guns down, put the weapons down, and the, the male was agitated. He was yelling, threatening to harm the father, and he wasn't complying with the officer's please to please drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun. The officer continued to negotiate with the male. This went on for about six minutes. Uh, at that time, what we know is that the suspect shot the father, and the officer shot the suspect. The timing of these shots is nearly simultaneous. We're still working out the level of detail on that. Uh, the involved officer has been with the police department for 22 years and is assigned to patrol duties in District 3. Uh, the father, like I said, was shot at the scene. He did die at the scene. The brother was taken to a local hospital where he died of his injuries. The coroner's office will release their names. All of our Denver police officer involved shootings are a combined investigation that involved members of our Denver police homicide unit, members of the Aurora police homicide unit, the Denver district attorney's office, and are also monitored by the office of the independent monitor. Did when the officer ordered the, um, the brother, the shooting brother, okay. to drop his weapons, did he draw his gun? Like, I guess at what point? Did right. He draw as soon as the officer saw the suspect standing in the house with the gun, the officer immediately drew his weapon. Anything else? Another thing in the dresser just walked through, you know, six minutes, and I guess is there a policy or reason not to intervene sooner or to fire a weapon sooner when he saw that the suspect had a gun? Right. He would have been justified in discharging his weapon right away. Um, he felt that he, the threat was immediate but yet not imminent, and the suspect was talking to him, I'm yelling back and forth with him. So all I I've said in the past all of our officers are CIT trained to negotiate and talk people down and try and get them out of their crisis. Uh, he seemed to be managing that. The suspect escalated the situation when he put the gun to the father's head. Do you know when the names might be released? It's up to the coroner's office, and, and that uh, is based on full family notification. The officer wasn't a juvenile? No, sir. So there was the brother who was in the house when the officers first arrived, and he was outside when this occurred. Do you know anything about what led up to the argument? I, it, we're not clear on that right now. Had you guys had any other pre previous calls to that house? Or that not recently, no. Okay. 